The great Michael Jordan has it all. Trophies, successful businesses, over a billion dollars in his pocket, and as of September 2020, yep, even his very own NASCAR team. For nearly two decades, the NBA Hall of Famer and a lifelong motorsport fan had wrestled with the idea of investing in stock car racing. Many had tried before him, all with varying degrees of success. Some even failed miserably. But all Michael Jordan needed was the right crew in his corner and the right motivation. Finally, the pieces have fallen into place, and Michael finds himself in a position not only to change the sport for the better, but to drastically improve the broader American outlook. So how did this all play out? Pedal to the metal? Let's find out. Before we dive into the details of MJ's latest venture, we know that there's one looming question at the forefront of everyone's minds. How much did the NASCAR purchase actually cost him? At $20 million, or thereabouts. That's not cheap, by the way. The specific financial details are still in the shadows, as are a lot of the other particulars. However, that number is easily inferred based on past NASCAR expenses. To field a competitive car, yearly costs could exceed $20 million, with $30 million not unheard of. How does that figure get so high? Well, for starters, building a competitive car can run up a bill of $400,000 or more. On top of that, throw in millions per year in crew salaries, plus the cost of travel, tires, gas, and smash repairs, which if you've seen any live races, you'll know there are countless. All in all, a team could spend up to $1 million per race. Fortunately, as one of the richest athletes on the planet, including those former and current, MJ can afford to splurge a few extra bucks here and there. But the question isn't one of affordability, it's one of motivation. Why would a six-time championship baller want to divert into a totally different sport? In the eyes of many of Michael's acquaintances, including marketing professor Dr. Brett Boyle, quote, if you know anything about Michael Jordan as a business person, he doesn't just go for the cash grab or go for something that is going to put his name out there. He would only do a project like this with the intention of winning, end quote. This is true, no doubt. However, in Michael's mind, there's another crucial element at play. As an advocate for racial equality, Jordan recognizes a long-standing issue within American motorsports, the lack of diversification. In the great man's own words, quote, historically, NASCAR has struggled with diversity and there have been few black owners. The timing seemed perfect as NASCAR is evolving and embracing social change more and more. In addition to the recent commitment and donations I have made to combat systemic racism, I see this as a chance to educate a new audience and open more opportunities for black people in racing, end quote. The experts have weighed in and there's a sense of agreement amongst them we should hope so, to have Michael Jordan's brand intertwined with the sport and to have his personality driving a team. Metaphorically driving, of course, not only will the sports appeal spread further into African-American communities, but also younger fans, basketball fans, and a number of other minority groups. MJ's involvement with motorsport isn't new by any means. In fact, as a kid growing up in Wilmington, North Carolina, which is right about here, by the way, MJ would accompany his old man to the Winston Cup Series races around the Carolinas, even with the occasional visit down to Daytona Beach, home of the infamous Daytona 500, the most prestigious race in NASCAR. More recently, from 2003 to 2013, his airness returned to that illustrious track as the owner of Michael Jordan Motorsports, an AMA superbike team. At these events, riders would cannon around corners at nearly 200 miles per hour, and Jordan absolutely loved it. With all these factors, Jordan had the four-pronged reason to pull the trigger on the new business venture. One, he had cash in the bank. Two, he had a keen eye for investment. Three, he has the desire to make a political statement and combat systemic issues. And four, as his childhood shows us, he's always been a fan of motorsport. So with all the right reasons behind him and the tools to make it happen, MJ just needed to work out one more vital factor. Who would he be working with? Hey, I'm a king. 